Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Crypto Corner and today I will be reviewing an ICO slash new cryptocurrency called Xenium X Commerce. Uh, they claim to be the future of digital commerce and it's supposed to be launching on the 15th of July 2020 and I urge you to watch this video before you consider investing in it. In fact, I urge you not to be investing in it but uh, let's explain exactly why I'm going to break down everything here for you so stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. Let's let's jump straight into it. 42 days until the launch of this new scam coin. And why do I call it that? Well, let's find out. Uh, Xenium X, digital commerce of the future, a new smart blockchain, <laughs> spelled as two words, based marketplace for trading digital goods and SAAS services. SAAS stands for software as a service services. Right, okay, so obvious uh, grammar mistakes here, which uh, is again just a red flag, uh, probably not one of the biggest ones. If you see here in the top corner, the I mean, the website looks kind of decent at first glance, you know, it's got some nice graphics and everything, but it is a WordPress website. So this is a, the first red flag, uh, one of the not very obvious and not really huge red flags, but it is a red flag nevertheless. A cryptocurrency that is claiming to be the digital commerce of the future, built on a WordPress uh, blog type of a website. I mean, that is not very good sign, is it? Also, a quick look at um, the register of this uh, domain we can see that it is only registered for one year. So it, it, ex it was registered in April this year and it expires on the 3rd of April 21. So again, another red flag, because as we know, you know, if you are building a serious project, you will be having that domain for a minimum of 10 years or something like that, because it takes time to develop a project and, um, you know, once you build up this project on this domain, you wouldn't really want to be losing the domain. And even if you want to migrate to a different domain later on, there is no reason why you should only have the domain for one year. Besides, if this is not really supposed to be lasting very long. Right. There is not much info here. I mean, we see that a lot of the information has been protected. Uh, Panama shows up here, which is also not great because we know that Panama is a safe haven for many scams. So um, yeah, so far not very good, but this is not even the worst of it. Let's find out more about it's a blockchain based marketplace where buyers and sellers meet to carry out operations involving digital goods and SAAS based services with cryptocurrency transactions. Cryptocurrency also spelled as two words. The unique advantage here is an automatic matching of users base, basing on artificial intelligence approach. Basing on artificial intelligence approach. As I said, there are grammar mistakes, there are spelling mistakes, that this is really not great. It is a first ever artificial intelligence marketplace in the world. It is a first ever. That's not English. Uh, combining traditional and smart contract blockchain, future oriented ideas of connecting people and performing operations of, by analyzing users preferences. They are selling the tokens via a crypto exchange called CryptoBase X. And this is called Xenium X. So clearly these two are connected. They have developed their own exchange because clearly they're not going to be traded on any of the legitimate uh, exchanges. Um, buy products, buy securely using Xenium X basing on smart contract and blockchain. Not blockchain, blockchain. Okay, now, Let's take a look further down the website. We see a roadmap, March 2020, release of the initial white paper. It's already been released. I'm going to go through it. June 2020, launch of Marketplace Creator and first mobile apps supported first partner app launch. And in August 2020, 
they will be launching the shop of Xenium X and new mobile apps with meta transactions, whatever that means. Token price 5830 bitcoins. I don't really know what that means. I mean, that is not the price of a token. And um, is that what they're trying to raise during the ICO, to, during the pre sale stage? I'm not really sure. But uh, let's go through their um, white paper and see. By the way, this is the exchange where you can buy it from. So this is the only exchange that is uh, where that coin is available. And um, from what we can see, there is very little liquidity. There is actually no volume at all. Uh, the last trade of this coin was on the 31st of May and it was for a thousand coins. And that was the only trade on that day. So if we go back, we see that there were a few trades on the 8th of May and then there was one trade on the 9th, two in fact, there was one trade on the 10th and then there were about 10 trades on the 16th, about five or six trades on the 17th and then a gap until the 31st when there was a trade for a thousand and it was a buy. On the 17th, everything was a sale. So really no liquidity, uh, zero trading volume. I wouldn't really bother with this coin at all, but uh, the, the token sale is live and they have 42 days and uh, they will be trying to get as many signups as possible. So hopefully people will be doing their due diligence and they will be seeing this video. Um, let's see their white paper because this is one of the first big red flags that I noticed even before I go into the team and when, once I go into the team then you wouldn't even want to touch this coin but let's just look at the white paper so it says ERC20 digital commerce token what is uh, important about ERC20 tokens these are tokens that you build on the Ethereum blockchain at, via smart contracts and anyone can build an ERC20 token there is no auditing process or anything to actually check whether you are building a legitimate uh, token or something that you, you do as a scam and uh, creating a scam ICO these days is super easy guys there are many websites and blogs that actually explain the process how easy it is to create your own coin how easy it is to create a fake ICO and uh, this one here is exactly that now I recognize this uh, <laughs> a lot of this uh, white paper because recently I was uh, researching another project and it just so happens that it was just three weeks ago, in fact, and I, I have a photographic memory. So I remember these graphics and especially this graphic here. Um, let me scroll down furthermore. This graphic here is identical to the graphic of another cryptocurrency that I was researching. Let me see. Where, oh, yes, there it is. As you can see, I'm going to zoom in. This is the original graphic. You can see how clear it is. This is the website of Origin Protocol. And Origin Protocol is a cryptocurrency that is already available on all good exchanges, including Binance. I was trading it last week, last month. In fact, throughout the month of May, I was trading Origin Protocol. I made good 80% profit from it. Now, this is from the this is the same graphic from the white paper of uh, Xenium X and as you can see it is in fact really blurry why would that be let me do a larger screen share here and uh, remove my camera so you can see this clearly so this is the Xenium website this is their white paper this is how the graphic looks now uh, let's go to the original website, this one here. So this is the original graphic from the Origin Protocol white paper website. Let's zoom even more. Well, this is how you know that this is the original graphic. It is far more clear. Not only that, in fact, the whole white paper of Xenium X is copied from, uh, let's say 90% of this is copied from the white paper of Origin Protocol. Let's start from the beginning. Origin is an open source platform that enables the creation of peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces and e-commerce applications. The Origin platform initially targets the global sharing economy, allowing buyers and sellers of fractional used goods and services 
like car sharing services based tasks, home sharing, etc., to transact on the distributed open web. Now let's have a look at this white paper here. Let's go to the beginning and start. Xenium X is an open source platform that enables the creation of digital marketplaces and SaaS based e-commerce applications. The Xenium platform initially targets the global sharing economy, allowing buyers and sellers of fractional use digital goods and services like softwares, music, video and analysis to transact on the distributed open web using, using the, the Ethereum blockchain and interplanetary file system. The platform and its community participants can interact in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion, fashion, fashion allowing, allowing for, for the creation, creation and booking of services, of services and, goods and goods without, without traditional intermediaries. Now this is 90%, maybe 95% the same. Let's go further down. We intend to enable a large-scale commerce network that transfers direct financial value transfers indirect financial and strategic value, creates new financial value for marketplace participants that contribute to the growth of the network and so on and so on. Here, the original white paper. We intend to enable a large-scale commerce network that transfers direct financial value, transfers indirect financial and strategic value, creates new financial value for marketplace participants that contribute to the growth of the network and so on and so on. I can go on, but there's no point really. I compared the two white papers. They are 90% identical. There are some uh, certain words here and there that have been changed, of course, to make it, you know, to customize it to this project. But uh, it is 90, if not more than 90% identical. Look at this graphic as well. This is yet another graphic that was completely ripped off from the website of origin so this is the graphic here this is the graphic here I mean seriously would you really want to touch this ICO this coin no but even if this is not convincing enough for you let's move on to the more sinister bit and this is the team the team behind uh, Xenium X our team meet of professionals Wow, talk about English. Lori Suarez. Oh my God, you, this is where you really have to run. When you see this guy, you run as far as you can. <laughs> now, let me explain why. So, a quick search on uh, social media would provide this Facebook profile of Lori Suarez, which is super restricted. And there is a very good reason for it. I mean, you can't add him as a friend. You can't uh, really see any posts or anything on his wall. Right. There is a very good reason for this to be so restricted. And if you do a quick uh, Google search on Lori Suarez, you see that, in fact, everything comes up as scam. He's been involved in scams, in fact, for the last 20 years. Uh, there's been um, the, his latest scam was called uh, re um, Recycling Bot, which after a, a few months was renamed to RB Global Crypto Bank. RB stands for Recycling Bot. It started, and I remember this one myself because some of my friends on Facebook were trying to get me into this scam. Uh, this was a scam, and there, there, there's even more. You know, this is the second page of the search. This is yet another page. I mean. There's a lot of results that point out to a scam and different scams that this guy has been involved with. So um, who is Loris Suarez? Well, basically, he is a convicted felon. Uh, there are reports about him being a convicted felon, so I'm not alleging here. I'm actually citing uh, different articles and even videos. Actually, let's take a look at this video. You're about to meet Lorenzo Suarez. His name is hard to forget, like his trail of destruction. Now the convicted fraudster is back with a new business and a new list of unhappy customers. Lorenzo. Chris Allen from A Current Affair, mate. Can we ask you some questions? Really, he's a cowboy and a con man. You up to your old tricks, Lorenzo? Yeah, right on, mate. You're a grub, you're a thief, and you are a waste of energy, time, and an oxygen thief. Have you been ripping people off again? Yeah, no, mate, sorry. You know, there's no appealing to his better nature because he's that sort of a bloke who just 
Yeah, he's out there for himself and himself only. He's the convicted fraudster who just never gives up. The dirt guys doing dirty tricks, are they, Lorenzo? Speak so, to a lawyer, man. Lorenzo's latest business is called The Dirt Guys, a building business Stacey and Karen found online. He seemed like a genuine man at the time. He walked the walk, talked the talk. His website was good. He had some good references. Um, he had a license. How about Karen? How about Stacey? They trusted you, mate. You did dodgy work, took their money, and you've done nothing. Who treats people this way, Lorenzo? And while Lorenzo leaves his victims out of pocket, he doesn't seem to be struggling. We filmed him driving in two different Mercedes and a Porsche. What Stacey and Karen didn't realise when they hired Lorenzo is that he'd already been to jail twice for fraud. The second lot of offences committed while he was on parole for the first lot. So he was sent back to the big house. Then three years ago, we caught up with Lorenzo when he was promoting himself as a sugar daddy online. It seems without the sugar to back it up. He's a ripoff merchant and I hope by having his name go to ear that I can help others not be in the same situation. The investigation by Queensland's building watchdog into Lorenzo is ongoing. So the guy is well known in Australia for scamming people for quite some time. This is one of the articles that are talking about previous scams that he's been involved with. Also, he served jail time in 2007 or around that time. And here just some of the reports from that article. Suarez got $27,000 from one victim, $51,500 from another, and $60,000 from a third with promises of returning the money with high interest added. This was as far back as 2007. Suarez, 41 at the time, so this is in about 10 years ago, so he's probably around 50 now, pleaded guilty to three counts of dishonesty, including fraud and passing valueless checks in early 2007. Um, but unfortunately, his scams didn't stop there. He continued and most recently with the invention of crypto, he's been on the loose because cryptocurrencies, as you know, are still a largely unregulated market and uh, the transactions with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are uncensored, meaning that his accounts are not being frozen and he's been able to scam many people with his uh, different ventures so um yeah this is another uh, article here behind dm mlm is actually a website that uncovers scams in the mlm industry and they have been reporting a lot about this guy so if you go on their website you will find at least six seven or more articles that talk about his different scams so his most recent scam was uh, recycling bot now this was a um First, it started as a Telegram group, sort of a Telegram bot. And uh, these are some of the comments here that were reporting about Recycling Bot being a scam. And I've collected a lot of these because I was going to do a video on this uh, Recycling Bot scheme last year. But uh, I was a little bit late because by the time I was uh, ready with my research and everything, they had already stopped paying and uh, people were already screaming scam from all sides. So it was really too late for me to be uh, warning people about it. I mean, you know, people had already lost their money. So I was a little late on that. But this time I'm not late. I'm telling you this in advance. So hopefully you're watching this video and you will be able to save your money. This is a guy who has been, who is a member of this website. And what he's saying is, Lori has finally revealed his exit scam strategy. This is in October 20, 2019. In fact, Recycling Bot stopped paying in uh, late 2018. Then in April or something in 2019, they paid a few people and they asked them to post in the Facebook group, uh, you know, proofs of payment and stuff like that. But uh, many people were reporting that they never got paid. So this guy is claiming that uh, Laurie is going to blame 99.9% .9 of the members who refuse to keep throwing good money after bad. Here is Laurie's letter that he's including here some screenshots that he's written to justify his soon to be scam out. It's finally become painfully obvious that his financial cult of followers has now become largely disillusioned with stories of technical problems, 
daily changes of terms and continual berating of merely requesting withdrawals of even 5% of the available balance. So this is about the recycling bot. It was uh, supposedly going to be paying 2.8% return on investment for 60 days. Uh, I read somewhere that it was uh, supposed to be paying at about 160% in total return from whatever you deposit. So um, that really never happened. I know personally a few people on Facebook that were in this scam and were promoting it and they never got paid, they, they got kicked out. Um, so yeah, this is uh, another screenshot of uh, him saying how people will be paying. This was in May and people were complaining about withdrawals back in March, some, some of them even earlier than that. Baffles me when people complain about waiting for a couple of hundred pounds. I've been waiting since January 25th. Now this screenshot was taken in May. So this guy has been waiting from January for thousands of pounds that he invested and uh, and he's not worried. Well, you probably were worried after that though, because you never got paid. This is another one. This is again, all of these screenshots I took in May. I'm also waiting for payment from the 1st of March and my husband from February 25th. Another one waiting from the 1st of March. So, uh, I mean, seriously, this is Helen Coleman. She says, please do not message me or support asking what time withdrawals open. I will not respond. I am busy. This is the customer. She was an admin, as you can see here, admin in the group. And uh, not only that, but uh, this woman is also now sitting here on the board of uh, directors or whatever, via VP. So she, she is the vice president of this new token. This is what you are dealing with. This is basically his uh, right hand con woman. Right, so um, I can go on. I mean, I do have more uh, screenshots. This is a screenshot from Lori uh, kind of justifying. This is Lori Suarez speaking here. Just because the plan is 25% withdrawal, why do people need to take it all? Why do you need to withdraw everything available to you? If the maximum is $10,000 a week, why do you need to take it all? People that don't care about this, people that do, don't care about this business. There is a missed comma here, so I couldn't read it properly. Now, some may be grabbing the old Ponzi scheme cards right about now. And yes, I would expect the rabbit hole people to do so. But in the land of reality, this is not classed as a Ponzi scheme. It is classed as a growing and protecting your investment. It, it is classed as growing and protecting your investment and the company providing the vehicle paying the dividends. In reality land, if you were to start a new company, you need capital to do so. If you take on investor funds and the company invests in a project tomorrow for 12 months, but all the investors are from down the rabbit hole and want to withdraw in three weeks, the company may not have the money to pay the investors. Hence, it falls over. Pretty simple. Yes, it is pretty simple. This is what we call a Ponzi. If you have people that are withdrawing their money and you don't have any investors, then you are running out of money because you have to have new money to pay the investors that have already put money in. This is what we call a Ponzi. This is another guy hoping he can withdraw on Sunday. I'm pretty sure he never managed. This is another one. I posted a comment and put a screenshot of my withdrawal. Got no Bitcoin and none pending. Please help. This is another one. Still waiting for 0.08 BTC at around 400 XRP since March the 1st. Again, this uh, screenshot was taken in May. This is uh, in, in May when they started paying some of their customers. They're saying here that any withdrawals pending from January to March are getting processed. It won't be any quicker by keep asking, meaning stop asking. <laughs> we are still awaiting confirmation for the April withdrawals. Uh, also, it says withdrawal window is closed until Sunday and uh, the withdrawal opens on Saturday at 3 p.m. and you have 24 hours. So basically how they were paying was they were opening withdrawals for 24 hours. So whoever manages to get first, to get some kind of a withdrawal, then the, it, it was basically a lucky, a, a point of luck. So these are the kind of people that you will be dealing with if you get involved 
with this token guys uh, this is their team I mean the, the first two people are already known scammers now I don't really know much about the other people here that are involved in this project but uh, I mean first of all it really looks unprofessional the kind of pictures that they included and uh, I did research their LinkedIn profiles to see if I can find more about them not really much on LinkedIn you know that typically if uh, a developer or an advisor of an ICO is a real person and they're really involved in the blockchain space they have legitimate LinkedIn profiles well this guy Andrew Gledhill has eight connections on LinkedIn I mean seriously that that is nothing and uh, he's supposed to be the admin director I don't even know what admin director is supposed to mean but uh, let's look at uh, the other people involved in this ICO so we have Jason Peder five connections on LinkedIn that means that these were LinkedIn profiles that were opened literally just a few days ago maybe a few months ago specifically for this project so that you know because they know that people will go on LinkedIn and they will see if if these people even exist so Jason Peder director of gaming has uh, five connections director of gaming at Xenium X the other one Amy Church 20 connections she's got the most of all of them but doesn't even have a picture on LinkedIn there's nothing really in her profile it's just that and then we have Madin, Mandin Smith administrate administrations director at Xenium X she's got six connections so basically they're all connected with each other and that's it this is their network they're, they don't have any other presence in the blockchain space but they're supposedly going to be running this uh, groundbreaking cryptocurrency uh, seriously oh and then they claim that they are partnered with trust wallet partners and supporters we collaborate only with the best trust wallet now let me explain to you about trust wallet basically this is a wallet that hosts all of the ethereum based tokens so if you have an ERC 20 which is ethereum based token the trust wallet will support it regardless whether it's a legitimate one or not uh, the same way would be with uh, my other wallet i'm surprised that they didn't put it added here but uh, in any case this is not a partner this is not a supporter this is basically a wallet that every uh, token that is based on the ethereum platform is able to be stored on so this is not a partner at all and i'm pretty sure that if i reach out to trust wallet they will confirm that there is no partnership or support or they're not endorsing this product now the other one is this uh, bitdevhub.com which are designing logos so i suppose that they hired them to design the logo for for the project so they count them as supporters or something like that and the third one is that uh, crypto exchange that they developed specifically to be able to sell the coin to you so this is not legitimate guys absolutely not and uh, this is why i'm urging you not to get involved with this ICO we have a very bad website uh, that was created on WordPress we have uh, a white paper that was completely copied stolen ripped off from the origin protocol OGN token which is as I said already a legitimate token that is traded on Binance and many other exchanges we have a team of people that are convicted some of them already convicted felons and some of them not yet convicted but already proven to have been running other Ponzi schemes and uh, and fraudulent schemes in the past scamming people of many thousands of dollars so everything points out to an obvious scam coin here so this is my conclusion I wouldn't recommend it to anyone I wouldn't touch it I would in fact report these people and uh, I would urge you to do the same so this is my conclusion now you can continue your research do your own due diligence and decide for yourself whether you want to get involved with this scam ICO or not 
And uh, there are many ICOs that actually don't really live up to expectations. 90% of the ICOs don't really live up to expectations and people lose m money rather than make money. But if you really want to get involved with ICOs, there are some legitimate ones and you should really look for ICOs that are endorsed by big companies and, and companies that are already in the crypto space and have built up a reputation. I actually shared an ICO on my um, blog recently that is endorsed by Binance by Tron, by Chainlink and uh, a few other projects in the crypto space that are legitimate projects and when they endorse something it's not really going to be fake and uh, again you don't really have guarantees that it will make you a lot of money but at least you have guarantees that it's not a fake project. This here is a fake project and uh, this is where I'm leaving you. Allegedly these people are going to scam you. I'm alleging here because this is still in the making, but I'm personally convinced that this is going to be a scam one day. So time will tell if I'm right or not. Thank you for watching until the end. And if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do. I will be doing more of these reviews. And also leave a comment. I want to find out whether you like this review, whether you agree with me or whether you think that I'm on the wrong path here. And uh, if you have any suggestions for any other hot tokens, ICOs or other cryptocurrency projects that you are thinking about investing in, if it's something big, I will review it as well on this channel. See you guys in the next video.